would love to introduce uh, uh, Shadad Attili, that is uh, uh, advisor ranking minister and uh, um, is uh, part of Palestinian Liberation Organization Negotiation Affairs Department. I hope that is correct. And uh, Mr. Odederan, that is former ambassador, is uh, doing a very big, big, big work for his, uh, his country, but uh, uh, is also former ambassador to Jordan and senior research fellow. Uh, and uh, um, of the Institute for National Security Studies in Israel. And uh, uh, Mr. Iran, as uh, uh, yesterday, I think, correct me if I am wrong, wrote an open letter to His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan. And uh, it's uh, a letter that if uh, he wanted, could explain us what is the content because it's related to the work that uh, they are, they are, uh, he is doing with uh, Mr. Activity together. And uh, I think that uh, the best way to explain uh, it's uh, to, to, I ask to you both to explain your project and if it's possible also to explain us how, for example, water could be also a symbol to build peace because water is the most simple but uh, it's also the most difficult uh, um, resource of, uh, of that in the Middle East it's difficult to find. And so it, please decide as you prefer, uh, perhaps if uh, Mr. Iran would, uh, would start and then uh, with uh, Mr. Uh, Atil, as you prefer. Yes, but uh, uh, after and... Uh, Do you want to go first? You go first. I go first. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> good morning, everyone, and thanks for attending this session. I would say that all the previous negotiations between us and the Palestinians have failed, from Oslo to Camp David to Annapolis to the efforts of John Kerry, the former Secretary of State. All of them failed basically for two reasons. A, uh, although Shadan and myself can agree on everything tomorrow morning, uh, our governments could not. And secondly, and this is more serious, because they were predicated on everything or nothing. We have to solve Jerusalem, refugees, uh, borders, and everything depends if we find solutions to all of these problems, and we fail. And therefore, what happened is that issues <coughs> like water, environment, food, health, were dependent on whether we found a solution to Jerusalem. Now, I'm not saying that Jerusalem is not important, but what I'm saying is that when you link everything and you make it dependent, conditional, then you fail. And the situation today is, and this is where Shadad and myself came into this with the help of uh, uh, Italian friends who sit uh, here uh, front row, uh, Enrico Bolinari, we started to do things that can uh, produce results immediately and uh, on the issue of water. Uh, but I will follow what you said, uh, and that is that water is symbolic in the sense that we need this tomorrow, or yesterday, in fact, and uh, symbolic in the sense that we <coughs> don't have uh, water in the Middle East, as you know, one of the most dreary areas from that point of view, or dry areas. And uh, we need regional cooperation to produce uh, water for the benefit of all of us. Uh, and this is where uh, the civil society comes in. Not only on water issues, but on other issues. I tell you, I give you an example. The peace process between Israelis and Palestinians started back in 91, 92, uh, 
as an academic exercise between Israelis and Palestinians, which brought the Oslo negotiation and the Oslo Accord. We, at the Institute for National Security Studies, we reached the conclusion that we cannot reach today an agreement on Jerusalem. No fault of everyone. It's important. It's emotional to Palestinians, to Muslims, to Jews, to Christians. Too heavy to reach a decision today. Same as borders, same as refugees. And we in Israel, we cannot accept the status quo because the status quo means that this is the end of the Jewish uh, state. It means a, a, an end to a democratic Jewish state and uh, a, a, an end to a moral state. And this is why we need to get to something that is, could be done today. And so we are recommending incre incremental steps towards the attainment of the two-state solution. We can deal with water and reach a comprehensive agreement on water today. Shadad and I will sit 24 hours and we will reach an agreement. This is at least my estimate, assessment. Uh, the same goes on environment. The same goes on health, and culture, and, and agriculture. And so we, what we recommend is that two governments, Israeli and Palestinian, accept this uh, paradigm. The international community supports this, and there will be guarantees that eventually the two-state solution will be reached. It will take time, but in the meantime, we saw the water, for example, because in Gaza, you have children who are now born into drinking salinated water, children who don't have the minimal hygienic conditions, and this is what our two governments can do with the assistance of the international community, accepting that there are certain things that can be done today and eventually lead to the two state solution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to you, uh, Mr. Ran. And uh, Mr. Attili, please could I explain in a practical way what does it mean, your project? What are you doing with if I know that it's difficult in so few minutes, but uh, if it's possible so to, to give a, a practical idea of that, what does it mean to work together? Well, uh, thank you and uh, good afternoon to you all. Uh, maybe it's a uh, clock bizarre, uh, a Palestinian sitting next to an Israeli, because what you have in the media that we are uh, fighting each other, and this is true. But uh, uh, this is true because we're living uh, in a land that we are fighting over. And uh, 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 we are a Palestinian who lives in the occupied West Bank, including uh, Jerusalem, as well as we are Palestinian who lives in Israel. In, 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 in Gaza, we are two million who's living uh, there. And uh, the fact that we are living together and we are living forever. <coughs> so this is now comes and what to do. We don't have a problem with Israel because the PIO has recognized uh, Israel. But we do problem with Israel occupying us. So this is the problem. So the problem is that the Palestinians, they are looking for their self-determination and they're looking to build their own state. And this is the deal and this is the engagement of the international community since we signed Oslo. And it's unfortunate that now after 25 years of the signature of Oslo that now we are living in a vacuum, we don't know where we are heading. Because all people now talking about the degradation of the two-state solution, when you come to the West Bank, you see settlement in the world. And with Israel adopting the national law that Israel is a Jewish state, for us there is no hope for the refugee to return because it will invade the Jewish identity of the state. 
and into that the problem of the border, and into that the problem of Jerusalem, and in all of that, we start missing to see our Palestinian state. While saying all of this, <coughs> as I said, we are living together. And we cannot deny this fact. One of the examples I can mention is the water. We are sharing the same water. So if we do pollute, they are never to drink polluted water. So if it's Israel's interest to help us not to pollute the, the aquifers. When our people in Gaza start demonstrating and putting fire on culture, they don't say, why? Why all this culture exists in Gaza? Because there is a problem with solid waste management there. If you help us addressing the solid waste, you we will never find culture to put fire on. When there is lack of energy in Gaza and there is no sewage treatment plant functioning, this is the sewage treatment plant that we built with your money, the European money. One of the most wonderful projects, the Ingest project, that treats the sewage of 400,000 people, of our people in Gaza, is out of functioning. Why? Because our neighbor, they are not providing us with the four megawatt that we need to function such facility. So what's happened? The sewage comes to this facility, it goes out untreated, and it goes to the sea. So it killed the fish, and now start killing our kids because we witnessed the death of the first Palestinian swimming in the beach. But does the pollution stay there? No. The pollution travel with the wind, it goes up. When it goes up to Ashkelon, where they're having the biggest desalination facility that said one third of the drinkable water in Israel. Then they see this Ashkelon desalination facility start not getting the water of the sea, start getting the sewage of Gaza. So they stop it twice. They start, or then Iran start facing problem in his drinking at home. Because there is sewage that has not been addressed, because there is energy that has not been supplied, because there is this beautiful investment, 120 million, is not functioning. So we said, while well, we, we understand this problem that we're against occupation, and we're against we, and we're willing to have our own state, there is areas that we need to put hand together. Despite really the difficult, despite the problem that I see Odet occupying us. But okay, for the best interest of my kids and his kids, we have to address the water. At least we can keep alive while fighting, but we need to drink. This is why when we came here to speak about this beautiful project that we start looking at with the help of uh, 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 our friend and Rico and the Italian, is addressing the solid waste in Gaza. And you know what? There is a problem of solid waste, as well as there is a problem of uh, water, as well as there is poverty high in Gaza, and there is a lack of energy and lack of education, and all the sustainable development goal is not addressed in Gaza. The 17 element, the poverty, the hunger, the water, the energy, and even <coughs> when you talk to our people in Gaza about the clean energy, this is the way the Turatini, yani clean energy, this is the, system, the fancy term, terminology of the sustainable development goal. I don't care about the clean energy. Give me energy first because I'm living four hours with electricity. And when I have energy and power, then I will start thinking if there is a place to put a solar panel for the clean energy. In conclusion, we need to work together. And we need, this is the civil society, and even the government has to encourage this kind of cooperation because there is no way that we, that each one work together. <coughs> and in the meanwhile, the international community has to support that the two parties came to the table to address the two-state solution. Thank you. Thank you very much. I introduce, uh, sorry, I have to go very quickly because we don't have so much time. And uh, I think that it could be, take uh, hours and hours to hear you, you all. And, uh, and so I'm sorry, but uh, I'm 